Well, hello there, my listeners. It is your host here. It is Team Rai Rai. Listeners, how are you doing on this Friday's edition? I am doing freaking awesome. This Sunday is WrestleMania. Oh, yeah. Now, I know a lot of you are traveling to New York slash New Jersey for WrestleMania weekend. Probably few of you got there a few days earlier to beat um, the rush hour um, crowds. You know what I'm saying? So that is good. Anyway, have fun. So speaking of WrestleMania, is that time once again for prediction time for WrestleMania? Can I believe it is 35? Holy cow! Time is flying by. Now, if you're wondering if I have a guess, no, I do not. That's okay. I am going to do my best to give you my thoughts, my opinions, my predictions for predictions for WrestleMania 35. So sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, grab some drink. Now if you don't do nothing like that, maybe you want to show like a villain and hear my opinions, my uh, thoughts and give you my predictions for WrestleMania 35. Let's roll this. Now there are 15 matches confirmed for WrestleMania 35. This is insane show. So if you're going to be attending this event only, have fun. Maybe you want to take some energy drinks, take a nap if you have time. I doubt it because there's a lot of stuff to do besides wrestling related. You know, you can always go to Times Square and check that place out. It is very nice. I've been there once back in 04 for WrestleMania 20. Okay. Now, I know this is not in order. I'm just randomly picking some matches. Okay, first one is the W Cruiserweight title will be up for grabs at the kickoff uh, match. Mr. Murphy versus Tony. I just use their one guy, I use his last name, and the other one, I use his first name. So I don't know who's the challenger, I don't know who's the champion because I don't watch 205 Live. My guess is Murphy is the current Cruiser champion. He will go in the WrestleMania as a champion. He'll go out as a champion. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Now the next one will be another kickoff match. There are three of them total. total. Another one is the second year in a row. Women's Battle Royal. It was okay at first, but they need to have some something else for the ladies okay everyone knows who's in it it's kind of sad how W treat Asuka last year she was in a very marquee matchup with Charlotte Flair now she's in this bogus uh, women's bar royal they're just gonna get a trophy for bragging all right it's a big flipping deal so um, I'm picking off the record I'm picking two people Manny Rose and uh, let's see here. Um, and Nanomi, okay? I know Nanomi. I know I'm not saying her name correctly. She came to this coach last year, but I forgot who won it last year. But anyway, it don't matter. Um, next one is the classic Andre the Giant Battle Royal kickoff. Everyone who's in it, you know who's in it. Braun Strowman, those two guys from Santa Night Live. That's kind of ridiculous, but whatever. You know, they want to use some celebrities. They will get knocked out. Or probably to be like Drew Carey. A couple of years ago at the Royal Rumble or longer. They will get eliminated before Braun Strowman gets to them. So my pick is, I'm picking two guys. Like the dude to the females. Braun Strowman. And let's see who else could be. And I go with Bobby Roods. I know it won't happen, but my major pick is, Braun Strowman probably won't happen. So if he wins it, he'll get a trophy. Big flipping deal. You know? I don't know why W don't give him a major storyline, but he's in this stupid storyline with the um, 
Saturday Night Live guys, but whatever. Anywho, now I think this would be a decent opener. Roman Reigns versus Drew McIntyre. Everyone knows who's going to win this match. It is Roman Reigns. I really want to see Drew McIntyre, but Roman Reigns just recently beat cancer. And we got a new shirt for him, of course. So um, Roman's going to win and pick up the victory. It might go slow match. It might go fast. Who knows? Next match, this match, will be the best match of the night. Bar none, hopefully. Well, maybe the second best match of the night. Let's see if it delivers. Randy Orton versus AJ Styles. And then, now this match, they did a very good job on SmackDown Live. Now, if this was on Raw, they would totally screw it up. I love how they discuss about the history. Love it, love it, love it. Now, this is... Let me rephrase it. Do you think this could be a one-time deal? Or do you think there will be a rematch down the road? Let's see what happens. So, I'm picking AJ Styles. It should be a very good match. Next match... Fall Count Anywhere match, former tag team champion for the SmackDown Live brand. The Miz versus the best in the world, Shane O'Mac. Anything could happen. Maybe Shane O'Mac will go on, on the Titans Tron and do some crazy stuff. I don't know. You guys remember what happened at WrestleMania 32 when he went off the Hell in a Cell and he missed Taker. He just um, went through the announcer table. That was a great WrestleMania moment. Hopefully this match will deliver. We'll see. Um, next match. I'm not looking forward to this whatsoever. Uh, Kurt Angle's retirement match. Kurt Angle versus Baron Corbin. Maybe Baron Corbin will get his butt kicked before he gets to the ring. You never know. And someone will replace him like John Cena. Maybe Taker someone because Taker is not official he's not on the card not just yet maybe they want to keep it a secret who knows same thing with Cena so this should be I'm not really hyped for this match at whatsoever so I think this is a cover up for the real match let's see what happens next match Batista versus Triple H the fourth time they met in their wrestling career, you know, one on one. Uh, Batista beat Triple H three pay per views back in the day. Batista came back recently and he said, Give me what you want. Really, W, really? But whatever. So here's the stipulation they have no disqualification. Actually, no whole bars match. The same thing, no DQ. Now, if Triple H loses, his in ring career is over. That means you're not going to see him at WrestleMania, SummerSlam, or whatever. I don't think that's going to happen. I think Triple H will finally beat Batista and end that feud. Next match is for the WWE SmackDown Tag Team Belts will be up for grabs. The Usos, The Bar, um, Mr. Black, Ricochet. Um, Russo and Shishi Nakamoto. I think we're going to get new tag team champions, or we may not. Maybe. I really want to see. Um, uh, yeah, there you go. Asalek Black and Rico Ricochet, but I guess they're going to be performing um, tonight at NXT, so they got double duty. If they weren't performing tonight at NXT, it'd be a different outcome. Maybe. They will win tonight and they're going to win on Sydney. So that's my upset. Those two guys, but my other pick will be the Usos retain their belts. It's a, a fatal four way tag team match. I don't know if all four guys will be in the match at the same time or be elimination style. We'll find out. I don't think WWE wants to do elimination match because the show probably will drag out even longer. Next match, it will be for the WWE Women's Tag Team Match. Sasha Banks, Bailey, the Iconics, Jax, the Tamiya, Naya, and the return of Beth Phoenix. She came out of retirement. I don't know why, but I guess WWE just needed her just for this moment. So, they're not going to win it. Because probably when they lose, Beth Phoenix is going back to commentating, maybe. 
Um, I'm not really a fan of the Iconics. I mean, they're very pretty. I don't think they have any wrestling skills whatsoever. I mean, they could shock the world and, and win. So I, mean, I think Sasha Banks and Bailey is going to retain. And probably in the fall, they're going to lose the belts. So this is a fatal four-way, I think. One. Yeah, fatal four-way. I don't know if it's going to be another elimination match. Probably not. Next match is the W Intercontinental Championship match. Bobby Lashley versus the Demon Finn Balor. Everyone knows that maybe a few of you think that Finn Balor is going to win. We'll find out. I am not a big fan of this feud. This feud sucks big time. I like Finn Balor, but I think it would be more cooler if he wears that makeup all the during time. Even on Raw and SmackDown, it would be more... His, char his, his character would be more... Wow, you know what I'm saying? I love his interest music. <clears throat> okay, next match is a WUS title match. You know, the title will be up for grabs. Small Joe and Rey Mysterio, but this match may not happen because Rey Mysterio got injured this past Monday, so if he if he could compete, Samoa Joe will retain it, but if, if Rey Mysterio cannot go, I'm assuming they're going to have a replacement, or they might postpone this match until the next Nine Raw, or whatever, so I'm assuming maybe John Cena, maybe not, that'd be kind of stupid, because he's a part-timer and he's never there that'd be dumb for WWE but that'd be a very that'd be like a WrestleMania moment John Cena wins it and Mania then he drops it the next night on Raw probably it's gonna happen eventually not in this one but probably one of these matches you know next match so either or probably Samoa Joe is gonna win it or it might be a surprising thing let's see what's gonna happen so hopefully Rey Mysterio could go, you know, if he's not on his feet, you know, since Monday, you know. Hopefully he's resting his feet, you know, his ankle. Okay, next one, the W Championship match, Daniel Bryan versus Kofi Kingston. Finally, Kofi gets his opportunity after 11 years. Why it took so long, I don't know why. But anyway, I think Kofi will become the new W Champion. With no interference, hopefully events will not screw him. Before he got into his W title picture. If he does, I'd be very, very upset. It reminds me of the WrestleMania 30 when Daniel Bryan beats the all the odds. Do you remember that? Exactly. Next one, this one, hopefully we'll get a new champion. Probably not. It's the W Universal Champion. Brock Lesnar with Paul Heyman, of course, and Seth Freaker Rollins, the guy who won the Rumble this past January. Hopefully, Seth Rollins. Will win the championship, but probably not. Brock Lesnar will take Seth Rollins to Suplex City probably seven or eight times, or even more, like he did to John Cena. How many times he did it to John Cena? What, 14 times in a row? That match was a total domination. I hear that match. Sucks. But, you know, the WWE wants Brock Lesnar to be the most dominant performer. Okay, now for the main event. It will be the, the WWE Raw Women's Championship. Not just one belt. Winner takes all. So that means Ronda Rousey, Charlotte Flair, and Becky Lynch, the man. Charlotte Flair, will, her belt will be in line. And Ronda Rousey belt will be in line. So it could be Becky Lynch could go out uh, when the... When the show's over, she could have two titles and celebrate it, or no titles whatsoever, or Ron Rousey could have both belts to close out the show, or Charlotte Fleur could have both belts to close out the show. Now, I am not a big fan whatsoever with Charlotte Fleur. Everyone knows why people cannot stand Charlotte Fleur, because W shoves Charlotte Fleur right down our freaking throats. Yes, I know, she's very talented, but there's a lot of ladies on the Raw roster are very, very talented, but WWE does not give them a, a time and day. And it's bullcrap. So, my upset, not really an upset, I'm going with Becky Lynch, just for the hell of it. 
probably my gut feeling is going to be a freaking Charlotte Flair because there's rumors that Ronda Rousey is done with WWE for now. I don't know if that's a storyline or legit. So if she does not get pinned, Ronda Rousey, that means she's going to get revenge whenever she comes back. So we'll see what happens. So my really pick is Charlotte Flair. I'm sorry to say this. She's going to close out the show and she's going to brag on Monday Night Raw and I guess it's going to be Charlotte Flair versus Becky Lynch. The feud will continue one-on-one. -on -one. That's just my opinion. So, there are a lot of matches like I, like I discussed. 50 matches. That is crazy. Now, I don't know if all these matches will go the distance. I doubt it. I guarantee the Battle Royal for the men's, for the Andre the Giant Battle Royal will go very fast, hopefully. The women's probably go very, very slow. Now, I don't know if the women's will kick off. No, sorry. They're both of them on pre-show. Now, you do you want one of them on the pre-show and one of them on the main show? They got three of them. Kickoff show. Kickoff matches. Now, for me, we don't need three kickoff matches. I prefer one of them. It's fine. And just have highlights of the greatest WrestleMania moments. They have interviews, whatever. So, hopefully it's going to be a good show. And know that this is a very long podcast because I want to break it down to you so if you're wondering where is this going to take place this Sunday in MetLife Stadium East Rivers River for I know I'm not saying it right in New Jersey home of the New York Giants and the New York Jets this is the second time they held a WrestleMania I think and I ho heard this will be the last time for a while but you never know but there'll be and whoever wants it back have a good one, and I'll be back sometime later on. Let me know what matches you're looking forward to, what matches you're not looking forward to. Now, if I mess up in the card, I'm sorry. And look out for my review up. It'll be up sometime Monday. Later.